Birdman came together on that song. It got yeah. to be a G to the day that I died. What? How did y'all do? Well, what we was signed that? to Universal, and I wanted Wayne. Uh, you wanted Wayne. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Hey, I done pulled up in Houston, man. Hey, I got, wow. hey, and I'm here with the legend. You know what I'm saying? It ain't only just legend clothing, but I'm here with the legend, man. Mm -hmm. My Thank boy you. Don Key. Hey, y'all might know him as Lil' Key Key, man, but hey, man, this dude is here, man. We finally made it, and I'm glad about it, man. Thank you. Thank y'all for having me. Man, but you know what? We really need to talk about the elephant in the room. Let's go. The elephant in the room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is uh, knocking those down with PFC. We we really need to talk about that. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm like, why the hell is this the elephant in the room? For me, nigga, it's the elephant in the room. Okay. So I just want to know what that was like. And because I always get me a pimp story out of everybody. So I'd be like, anybody I get on the table, they'd be like, this nigga crazy. You know? This pimp, this pimp story kind of different because when pimp came home to do that, yeah. first of all, that's my sample. You know, that's Correct. a sample of me. Let's get it. And a lot of people, you know, people use my Your sample. samples a lot. A lot. Yeah. So when Red Boy called me and asked me to do the song, he let me hear it at first. And I heard, I was like, I really didn't want no part to that. You know what I'm saying? Because like, because they sound they, they, You know nah, what? Not, it, uh, not the sample. What pimp was talking about? Oh, oh, oh! The down, knocking down. I, I was like, I don't really want in. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because like it was a different. It was a lot. It was a lot of beefing or something going. Mm, I just didn't want got in. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Like I was it. like, I, but I asked him, what did he want me to talk about? And Red Boy was like, be yourself, be what you do. And knocking those down is about knocking those down mm. and riding and holding. And that's what it's about. Yeah. Right. So that's what I did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So pimp was kind of upset sit with me about it because he wanted me to chime in yeah to the yeah to the beat i didn't want to put pimp you know <laughs> this is my guy when you what was the process you would ask you see was was niggas was different back then it mm -hmm. wasn't you know right now you got to sign this and sign that well how did how was y'all processing the fact of y'all togetherness did you? We, we wasn't processing because we wasn't you see what i'm saying we wasn't planning it like I tell you, like the difference between us and Swisher House, S -S Slim and Paul and Chameleon and all them, they was rapping and going over there. They were trying to be rappers. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we going doing demo. Like I never done a demo. Yeah. I never done a um I never done a demo. I never done a talent show. Yeah. Any of that. We came straight from screw tapes to getting to the money. So so we didn't, I tell people the history that we was making, we didn't know. We was it wasn't planned, man. Let's do an app. Let's do it until 1996, 97 when Screw dropped the first tape. Now we starting. Oh, I want to tape and Kiki want to do. It. But then the times of going to Screw House and collaborating and us becoming the SUC and these different mythical figures, Fat Pat, Lil Kiki, Big Mo, we wasn't planning it. You and Birdman came together on that song. It got yeah. to be a G to the day that I died. What? How did y'all do? Well, what we was signed that? to Universal, and I wanted Wayne. Uh, you wanted Wayne. Mm -hmm. I wanted Wayne just on the album. Period. He was on Universal. I love Wayne. I wanted Wayne on the album. When we sent it back, he wanted to be on it. Him. <laughs> Fifteen, I was ass